days for my lone, lone life I was afraid of one thing of wasting my life on something unmeaningful insignificant and even so I realized this fear very early in my life I couldn't do much about it I stagnated for many years just to give you a little glimpse into my stagnation I constructed this anime versus personal achievements graph so as you can see, from 7th to 9th grade, I really didn't knew what to do, or I really didn't, haven't done much. And as you can see, in 9th grade and most of my free time, I filled up with anime. In 9th grade, I watched nearly 100 series. But from, for, from these years, I learned a lesson. A lesson that I want to share with you today. Don't wait for somebody else. Do it yourself. So, it really starts in 7th grade. When I was in, when I was in 7th grade, um, I, wasn't, I wasn't that of a talkative guy. I was sitting on the front desk, not really talking to anybody else. And, and I, wanted really to, I really wanted to change this. And so I made up a rule for myself. Every day I was going, to, I was going home by bus. And so I said to myself, uh, every time I go, I go home. If there is nobody on the bus stop that I know, I will go and meet a new person. And this happened a lot. I was meeting, even, I once, once I met even a teacher from IB. I uh, wish she was 16, but anyway. Yeah. And it again, don't wait for somebody else. Do it yourself. If I wasn't talking to anybody, I would have just the same, I would have been just the same guy who doesn't talk to anybody. But if you go and if you go and meet people, you will be surprised by how willing people are to talk with you. And so, the next thing. Yes, so in 10th grade, in 10th in grade I participated in International Earth Science Olympiad. I was very lucky to do so. But you know what? In seventh grade, I realized that I have a really good talent for physics. But I don't know what, what I was thinking about. I knew, the, I knew that I have a talent. But I thought, I know, I need a teacher or I need, a, I need some kind of guidance or somebody to walk me through this whole process. And really, the truth was that you don't need anybody else. Teachers are there only to help you, only to advise you, and you are the owner of your journey. So when I was preparing for International Earth Science Olympiad, we didn't, we had a teacher of course, but um, it was, the lessons were just once a week, so most of the study was on us. So I was preparing using only this guy. I didn't even have a computer to do so. I opened more than a hundred tabs in my browser, but it worth it. I won, a, I won a bronze medal and this was a really happy thing in my life. And so, it was a very pleasant experience. But, and after that journey, I teamed up with our, uh, I teamed up with our other Olympians from other schools of other Nazarbayev intellectual schools to create Nisalim. And Nisalim is a community and a website for the motivated students to study, to study and prepare for the Olympiads. We have about, we have more than five, we have about five, we have five communities for different subjects. In chemistry, in Pagadan community, we have Anton, who is the International Chemistry Olympiad gold medalist. And in Polaris here, you have me. And so anybody, anybody who wants to, anybody who wants to join or study for the Olympians, you can go there. And so other things. So in eleventh, I'm now in eleventh grade, and so now I have, a, I have an interesting project. I used. This, this thing is called Chinese yo-yo, and I will explain what it, what it does. It's, uh, but a little introduction first. My, when, 
some poor countries really need, uh, really lack a good level of medicine. And so, um, one time, Manu Prakash, a scientist from, from Stanford, went to Nigeria to test his new invention. And when he got to one of the hospitals, he, he saw one thing. A centrifuge that costs about $2,000 was working as a doorstop, like literally a doorstop. That was, and when he asked scientists, what, the, what is this? They said, well, we don't have electricity, so we used... So this piece of junk really works well as a doorstop. And I came up with the idea, why can't we use a Chinese yo-yo as a centrifuge? Well, centrifuge is a crucial piece of equipment when you're making blood assays and blood analysis. I didn't knew every invention has to be tested. And so I just went to, but I didn't knew where to get my blood from. So I just gone and took blood from myself then I used then I used blood transfer system, cut it into pieces, sealed one end with a flame, and pushed, pushed blood in them. Then you put blood into the straws and spin it. And bam, results done. And again, if I was, if I was uh, waiting for somebody else, uh, to give me this blood. I emailed more than 20 people in, from Nazarbayev University and other places to help me. But they answered, well, no. So, yes, this, is, this was the thing. This is the thing I want to leave, with, to leave you with. Don't wait for somebody else. Do it yourself.